Greatness is a feat chased by many, but achieved by few in the UFC. To get there, it takes more than talent and skill. To be great, it also takes heart, determination, the willingness to fight the best, and the ability to beat them. She's a legend, a big, big staple in the sport and a pioneer in MMA. Over the course of her UFC career, this fighter has done that and more, taking the sport to a new level in the process. She's been a world champion in multiple weight classes, she's made a ton of money, and she's achieved everything she'd ever wanted. There is no question that she is the greatest of all time. title fight between Ronda Rousey and Valentina Shevchenko. An MMA pro since 2003, she's been mixing the martial arts since before it was cool. Here is the number one bantamweight contender, Valentina Bullet Shevchenko, Muay Thai fighter, but again, a modern day, well-rounded mixed martial artist that is vaulted into title contention by virtue of her all-around game. Valentina Shevchenko, super technical, and a woman who you get the sense will be a force to be reckoned with in, in this division for some time. As she makes her way to the Octagon right now, her preparation has been perfect. She is in fantastic shape, she is focused, she is motivated, and she believes she will leave this cage tonight as the new champion of the world. So here she is, the undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. How about the confidence as she makes the walk here tonight? She wants to get in there, take care of business, and go eat some buffalo wings in the back. She's been the best 135er in the world now for some time. Another title defense, what's in front of her? She doesn't try to make the moment too big. And even though the challenger has a lot of momentum here tonight, she knows she's the hunter for a reason and is looking to prove that she is still the best in the world at 135. The champion is making her way to the cage right now. Her preparation for this title bout has been absolutely according to plan. She is focused, she is in great shape, motivated and determined to step in here and put on a championship level performance and retain her title. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. Rousey is 36, Shevchenko is 38. Rousey will have a one inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. It's really the first fighting at the big corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 45 wins, 18 losses. She stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Valentina Bullet Shevchenko. 
Goal! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner! This woman is a judo fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, no losses. She stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Venice Beach, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go down right now. All right, here we go. All right, so round one is underway after her last fight. You heard Bruce Buffer say, and still, UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. She is trying to have him say it again here tonight. She is unquestionably the number one 135-pound fighter in the world. She has successfully defended this belt in the past, and she believes here tonight she's on a different level than all. Big left hand! Nasty combinations here. Nice leg kick. This could be it. Oh, beautiful lead kick is good there by Shevchenko. Oh! Back and forth we go. Big Huge right shot hand. with the right. Vicious, vicious punch combinations here. Right hand there. Wow. Lands oh. a big right hand. Vicious combinations. Inside leg kick lands. Shevchenko gets caught with that punch. They clinch up once more. Shevchenko gets the tie clinch here. Switching stances here. Oh, oh man, that is rough. Hard straight punch. What a fight we got going on here. Nasty combinations here. There's a nice inside leg kick. Just misses there with the left. Big oh. shot to the head. She's stunned. She's hurt. This could be it right here. Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai oh, clinch. Knee. Oh, vicious knee. This could be it. Wow. wow. Oh, big left hook there. Shevchenko's lower jaw now, Joe, starting to show some signs of swelling. Oh! This could be it right here. Oh! She might try to finish oh. this fight here. Oh! Oh! What a leg kick! Just missed with the elbow there. Tying up here in the clinch, looking for openings. Just over two minutes to go. Beautiful timing with the left hand. Oh! Well, she is clearly gassed out at this point of the fight. The stamina is low, and even when she misses a strike, that is an exhausting effort as well. So, not a good look for her here. Nice kick landed there by Rousey. Well, man, has she come out aggressively here to start this fight, connecting on a lot of shots so far here in this first round. All offense, all the time. Trying to take the back here. She blocks that offense, Joe. And that one certainly found the target. Shevchenko's wisely moving to her left here, Joe, continuing to circle away from the power left of her opponent. 
Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. How about that shin? Rousey gets hit by that leg kick. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Lead hook is good by Shevchenko. She's going back to the jab. Beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there by the champion. Whoa! This could be it. Oh, very nice. Oh! Huge uppercut. Good defense on display here. Very good blocks. Another elbow from the oh! Big knee. Entertaining strap so far. Oh, saved by the bell. Huge shot stunner just before the end of the round. And now you see her walking back to that stool. A little bit unsure of herself. We'll see if her corner can get her head back in this fight. Might have been on the wrong end of a 10-8 there at the end of that round. Huge knockdown just before the end of the frame. And here's another devastating shot to the head that really does damage. And here's another shot to the head that really stuns. What an action-packed round. It looked like it almost ended on multiple occasions. All right, let's get to round two. All right, so she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round, as efficient as ever. Oh! oh! Big body shot by. This could be it right here. Oh! 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 She's really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the ball. Oh, big right hand. Huge right hand. Oh, oh. She's knocked down. Back to the feet. Counter punch landed there by Valentina Shevchenko. Oh, this could be it. That knee might have landed there. And they disengaged from the clinch. Well, she got her head snapped back with that jab, Joe, and she continues to show a vulnerability here by almost leaning right into her opponent's range. Let's see if she can move that. Oh! This could be it right here. The left hook hits home. Here's the tie clinch again. Oh, vicious knee to the body. Knee to the body. We march on three minutes to go. Beautiful body shot there, too. Shevchenko's bruise there on the midsection is really starting to look bad here, Joe. We'll see if she can fight through it. One thing I can assure you, that is going to hurt big time in the morning. Vicious ground and pound to the body. Oh, this is a good shot from the bottom. Well, she has landed some very significant strikes, but as yet, she is still... Oh! This could be it! Big Vicious body shot! To the body. Vicious combinations. She popped out of 
submission. Massey gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Working out of that southpaw stance. Nice uppercut. Huge uppercut misses. Well, she has certainly landed a... No! And just like that, the fight is over. And it was a beautiful, accurate uppercut that got the job done. Yeah, Joe, I'm not sure she could have drawn it up much better. Just a beautiful strike to end the fight for her opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that flush shot coming. So this is exactly the way she drew it up. She told us during fight week that she had to find a way to finish this fight, to send a message to the rest of this division. Message sent. Watch this again here. Bang. So there she is, folks, a woman who now needs no introduction, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, getting it done by knockout and with major style points here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, 14 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout and UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, and she certainly got it done in a major way tonight. Another one for the highlight reel as she defends the belt with a knockout of the number one contender. And it's always nice to see the sportsmanship after the fight, but also nice to see the embrace with coach and pupil and to see the celebration in that corner after a big result like this. It was a long build-up to this title fight, a long training camp, but in the end, she gets her hand raised yet again. Congratulations to the undisputed queen of the 135ers. Hey, everyone, I'm Megan O'Leavy, and here's what you need to know for your UFC Minute. It's an old fight game adage that fans love nothing more than a knockout. If that's the case, then they will love this women's bantamweight banger, who was celebrated today for delivering the most knockouts in UFC history. A record achieved thanks to her devastating prowess in the octagon with her fists, feet, elbows, and knees. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. Championship fight. 
between Ronda Rousey and Ketlin Vieira. Well, this is a belt that has changed hands quite a bit, and this number one Bantamweight contender believes it will again here tonight as she makes the walk for this title fight. She believes this title shot should have come earlier. She's not caught up in all that now, hasn't been during fight week. She's focused on the champion, and you see her staring her down right now. Crowd going crazy. She believes she is the best Bantamweight in the world and believes in a matter of moments here, she will be the new champion. As she makes her way to the Octagon right now, her preparation has been perfect. She is in fantastic shape, she is focused, she is motivated, and she believes she will leave this cage tonight as the new champion of the world. So here she is, the undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. How about the confidence as she makes the walk here tonight? She wants to get in there, take care of business, and go eat some buffalo wings in the back. She's been the best 135er in the world now for some time. Another title defense, what's in front of her? She doesn't try to make the moment too big. And even though the challenger has a lot of momentum here tonight, she knows she's the hunter for a reason. She's looking to prove that she is still the best in the world at 135. The champion is making her way to the cage right now. Her preparation for this title bout has been absolutely according to plan. She is focused, she is in great shape, motivated and determined to step in here and put on a championship level performance and retain her title. Our tale of the date for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. So two years, the gap in age with similar height and the same reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, the referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve LaVey. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a wrestler, holding professional record of 26 wins, 7 losses. She stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Manaus, Arizona, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Catlin Vanamino Vieira. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a judo fighter, holding a professional record of 27 wins, no losses. She stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready? All right, here we go. UFC women's bantamweight title is on the line. Well, if you didn't know who she was a few short months ago, you most certainly do now. She won the championship fight by knockout. She will try to defend the title in similar fashion. She really set this division on fire and really crossed into the mainstream with that result. You know how popular the women's MMA game has become, and she sort of became a stall overnight. We'll see if she can keep trending upward in this title defense here tonight. Oh, that's a damaging strike there, Joe. They Gio. have started this fight off with a brawl. 
All right, first round is underway. Let's see how long it takes her to find her range with those vaunted, powerful overhand punches. Obviously, it's a big part of her repertoire, and more often than not, you're working on a choke here, potentially. Nicely done. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Big punch from the bottom. Getting the ground and pound going pretty good here. Really. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Vieta. Huge oh, elbow, elbow lands to the head. Excellent movement here on the ground. Rousey going for the head kick here. She misses. Telegraph that shot. Huge oh, shot. Oh, oh, oh. Big shot. Body kick on the back. Oh, straight right. Beautifully placed in time kick there by Rousey. Let's go! Back up. Nice kick by the champ. Trying to get a single. First takedown attempt is there. Excellent posture. Back to the stand up now. Both fighters upright. How about that shin? That was a nice exchange. Vieta's lower jaw now, Joe, started to show some signs of swell. Oh, wow. wow! This could be it right here. Big knee to the body! Oh, vicious knee to the body! This fight is over! Oh, oh, and just oh, like that, the fight is over! Standing! And it was a beautiful, accurate uppercut that got the job done. Yeah, Joe, that was just a near-perfect strike to end the fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. And this is exactly the way she drew it up. She said, I need to win this fight, but I need to do it by stoppage. I can't leave it in the judges' hands. If I'm going to take my career to the next level, I've got to get the knockout win here tonight. Mission accomplished. Take a look at this from a different angle. Bang. Well, that knockout win is useful for the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She lit up this arena here tonight, and you can be sure the celebration is on and will continue deep into the night. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has fallen stopped in this contest at 2 minutes, 42 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and... Well, she came in as the undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, and Joe, that is exactly the way she goes out after dusting the number one contender here tonight by knockout. What a moment in the corner right now as they celebrate arguably the biggest win of her UFC career, and it's going to take a major effort, Joe, from another woman here at 135 pounds to dethrone the champion. Congratulations to the still UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the world. It's a women's bantamweight title fight between Ronda Rousey and Alexis Davis. Well, this is a belt that has changed hands quite a bit, and this number one bantamweight contender believes it will again here tonight as she makes the walk for this title fight. She believes this title shot should have come earlier. 
She's not caught up in all that now, hasn't been during fight week. She's focused on the champion, and you see her staring her down right now. Crowd going crazy. She believes she is the best man of weight in the world and believes in a matter of moments here, she will be the new champion. As she makes her way to the Octagon right now, her preparation has been perfect. She is in fantastic shape. She is focused. She is motivated. And she believes she will leave this cage tonight as the new champion of the world. Well, this belt has changed hands quite a bit, but not since it's been held down by this young woman, the reigning defending, undisputed UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world. She has really set the standard for excellence at 135 pounds. Tonight, though, facing a number one contender that comes in with a lot of momentum. So if she can defend the belt yet again here tonight, it would really go a long way in stamping her legacy as one of the greatest bantamweight fighters and champions of all time. The champion is making her way to the cage right now. Her preparation for this title bout has been absolutely according to plan. She is focused, she is in great shape, motivated, and determined to step in here and put on a championship level performance and retain her title. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and the same reach. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. And Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 35 wins, 18 losses. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, presenting the challenger, Alexis Davis. And now introducing the champion. This woman is a judo fighter, holding a professional record of 28 wins, no losses. She stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is gonna go down right now. And here we go. All right, so here she is, ladies and gentlemen, a woman who needs no introduction, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC champion, and man has her popularity soared since her last title defense. She won that fight by knockout. Big left hand. All right, here we go. First round is underway. You know about her jiu-jitsu game. She is a submission specialist, so you don't want to hang out on the feet here for too long. She's got to go for the early takedown. Let's see how quickly she tries to change up this one and get this fight down to the canvas. Well, back to her feet here, but wow. man, is she hurt. Oh! Massive kick to the leg through her there, Joe. Oh, huge kick! Oh, double jab. Hard up the cut to the and head. And we got a fight out on him!
back up. Davis's lower jaw now, Joe, starting to show some signs of sweat. Inside leg kick. Big left. Vicious combination. Oh. Body kick, look at that. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Beautiful Big body, body shot. shot there, too. Hard straight punch. Back and forth we go. Hard left hand. Oh, vicious knee to the body. Wow, yeah, look at that takedown, man. Big body shot, shot. To the body. Trying to stay heavy here as best you can. And back up again. And there's a single attempt. Trying to set up a twister. It looks like this submission's locked. Oh, we're getting a finish here. This could be it right here. Outstanding. And will do it. Beautiful technique setting it up and a beautiful job in getting that submission. Yeah, really nice job by her there to execute the submission. Clearly, she had an opening, and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. And here's the end of the fight. And let's take a look at that twister from another angle. Locks down that leg, wraps the arms around the back of the head, and cranks for the tap. And one more time. Nice technique here on this submission. So there she is as the celebration continues in the corner. The queen of the 135ers, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. What a way to get the job done and leave with the UFC goal. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 50 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a twister. And still, the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Champion of the World, So after an emphatic submission win here tonight, she remains the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. And this arguably is her most dominant performance here tonight. A lot of people thought this was a qualified, credentialed number one contender, and she was, but she proved no match for the champion here tonight. And the celebration is on. Hard to blame them after this result here tonight. Congratulations to the and still UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the world. Greatness is a feat chased by many but achieved by few in the UFC. To get there, it takes more than talent and skill. To be great, it also takes heart, determination, the willingness to fight the best, and the ability to beat them. She's a legend, a big, big staple in the sport and a pioneer in MMA. Over the course of her UFC career, this fighter has done that and more taking the sport to a new level in the process. She's been a world champion in multiple weight classes. She's made a ton of money, and she's achieved everything she'd ever wanted. There is no question that she is the greatest of all time.